spots, Coach? Well, and that's where a lot of people run into problems, like I was saying previously, where they uh, they think they're going to maintain a, a level of competition physique and a level of competition dieting and a level of competition training, and their metabolism, metabolism getting stingier and stingier, it becomes harder and harder and harder. So now what would be considered the off-season for whoever, people are doing competition level training and basically competition level dieting and then to. yeah and then thinking okay when I actually start dieting I'm really going to be ripped well yeah. it doesn't yeah. work that way and they learn the hard way yeah and that and then it they, gets harder and harder and harder and they actually end up looking worse and worse they and worse. try to add in metabolic training and which is metabolic. the exact opposite again as, as people get more depleted and more closer to the competition physique their training actually has to be dialed back not dialed up tapered what we call tapering. because no one in a in a competition ready state can maintain high intensity training. I don't care what anyone says. Not metabolic training. No, not not metabolic training. That's for sure. Uh, otherwise, they risk both illness and injury. Yeah, and which also loss, which also happens after a show. How many people get sick? Yeah, after a contest. Right. Um, so the point is, peaking a body metabolically, peaking a body cosmetically different worlds. There is a point we call the sweet spot where they intersect. That's the point where we want people to stay. Non-competitors, whatever, people trying to diet to look better. But past that certain point, you go past that certain point of a healthy responsive metabolism into a down-regulated reactive metabolism that causes consequences. The state of depletion is not the same as the state of super calm. Any final words, coach? Uh, I'd just like to throw it there real quick at the, uh, just at the end here. That's where a lot of the athletes that I talk to, they, that's where they miss the whole point is they, they think to, to get what they're looking for is more the physical aspect, the, the look instead of the actual performance and that's where they fall into, that, into the wrong side of that equation right. where they, their performance would be much better if they actually weren't as... If people were more metabolically concerned yeah. than cosmetically concerned, they'd be far better off. Absolutely. And the other caveat of that that just pops into my head um, as a final thought is you see a lot of people now trying to cross over. You'll see people getting into MMA and then thinking they can do a bodybuilder diet. Yeah. Well, crash bill. Yeah. That's for sure. You're not going to be able to train that way and then train a way that's metabolic and then eat a way that's counter-metabolic. Yeah. So again, two different worlds peaking metabolically, peaking cosmetically. And we highly suggest, both of us, that people's number one concern should be to peak metabolically, not cosmetically. Cosmetically should be the, the afterthought and not the, not the preeminent thought. Yeah, it's basically a side effect that you, you kind of Which get you can for, enjoy. Yeah, for which, short term. Which you can enjoy. Yeah. So this has been a special Coach em Up on peaking the body, metabolically or cosmetically, from the Able Body Experts.